So we're here in Ladera Ranch, and uh, it's a beautiful day today. Ladera Ranch has a lot of asphalt composition shingle roofs, a lot of tile roofs, asphalt composition shingle, S tile, flat tile. Really nice area here in Southern California. Expensive homes. And they're putting a lot of um, solar panels on their homes up here. You see that one over there? Brand new solar panels. And anytime you get solar panels put on your roof, like these ones, looks really nice. You should always have your roof inspected. Because these solar panel guys will come out here, pop these on, and then tell you, they'll fix your roof, you're all set, don't worry about it. You have a warranty, you don't. Um, so you really want it looked over. You can see it looks really nice. It's your typical rack system. Horizontal, vertical runners. These are the vertical runners. That's what they attach the panels to. Horizontally, you can't see them, but they're under there. They're running. Little rack system. They basically plug them all in in case you didn't know. They all just plug in in series. They can probably plug in. I don't know how many of these they can plug in at a time. Maybe, maybe five, maybe more. And what they can't plug in, they run it out. It's like a home run system. It goes all the way down to your panel. Grabs the next set of wires. It goes over here and just goes down to your inverter, basically. That's all it is. So they set them up here and when you put them up here, you expect that they'll not destroy your roof. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. You see, these guys are nice enough to bring some broken tiles to replace them. I mean, bring some tiles to replace the broken tiles, so that's pretty awesome. Looks like they did that. It's pretty good, but you definitely want to verify that. So even though they brought broken tiles to replace them, you can see they forgot to bring trim tile. So they just glued that one. And they ran a little short, so they glued that one too. It's probably an oops moment. Just one of the new tiles they just freshly put on. They broke that one. And don't step right there. Because you look around, you see, oh man, look at that one. Right there, look at that broken tile. That sucks. Oh, look at that. They just left a left tiles just sitting there, they're just floating here. See, you, you definitely don't want that, huh? Now, what's the chances are that high winds come up here, hits that, blows it off the roof, and it breaks on the ground, or worst case scenario, hits somebody that they cop to it and they say, Oh, yeah, that we just left it up there. And, killed your dog or whatever no they're gonna be like oh no we didn't do anything we wouldn't leave any broken tiles on your roof oh really no broken tiles on the roof i see them they're there they're there they're there they got broken tiles on the roof so that's why you need to get your roof inspected after they pop these on here that's a really nice system uh, yeah, look at that broken tiles they have broken tiles. So, you just almost can't trust anybody that goes up on your roof, to be honest with you. You must have to have them double checked by somebody. It's easy for us to do it, because we're here fixing a roof leak. And down here, they got a leak right in their living room. It's like right here. So we're gonna tear up the whole roof, all the way up to the wall. Remove all the side metal. Oh yeah, you can see right down there. This is double layer of paper too, by the way. Most roofers will tell you, oh, double layer never leaks. Yeah, it does. These people can make anything leak. So uh, this tile pan right here, you gotta get that out. Don't let the roofer leave that in when they fix your roof. Look, it's got rotting paper, like you can't see it, but it's got rotting paper going up underneath there. Look at that, it's already destroyed. We tear all that stuff out, redo it. Ice and water shield at the bottom. We'll run ice and water shield up at the top. Fix it all. Look at that. Double layer of paper. Paper right underneath. Man. Look at all these roofers. I love how they tell you. Double layer of paper. Never leaks. Leaks bad. See what it looks like underneath there. Look at that. 
paper fell over paper. It's the same crap every day. This is all we fix. We got so much job security with all these roofers around here. It's crazy. I think most of the roofers you come out here, they're gonna put a third layer back on top of here and then leave you with the mold damaged wood most likely. So you get three layers. Sometimes we find four. Yeah, believe it or not. Just keep putting on more layers. Never solve the problem. Just keep doing more layers. More layers. So, anyways, you get, uh, hey, it looks beautiful. Real nice, real nice job. A few broken tiles. Make sure you get your roof inspected by somebody you can trust. That's the bottom line. So we're going to show you a double layer paper failure. I know it's contrary to what all the roofers were all say. It only fails because it doesn't have double layer. You're going to see these roofers can make anything fail. Two layers of paper is not going to save you if the wrong person is installing it. Here's the second layer we're tearing up. And look at that. Huge leak. Right under double layer paper. How's that possible? It's got two layers of paper. All you need is a single layer done right, to be honest with you. That's all you need. A single layer of paper done right. Oh, no. Okay, so. We gotta cut it? It's, it's, I have a four inch overlap. No, what about in the back? Can he pull the whole thing out or does he have to cut it? Yeah, he's gonna try to pull. Can you see those nails? See this tile pan? Here's another thing. It's a pain in the ass to get out. So most of the roofers don't want to get it out. A big error is letting your roof leave that metal in. When they fix your roof, don't let them leave this piece of metal in this wall. Make them get down, bend it out, pull it out, fight it. It takes sometimes 10, 15, 20. I've seen it take 30 minutes. It's, it's a big pain in the ass to get out. But if you don't, you can't get the felt up the wall. Over here, right here, you can't get the felt up the wall. And the job is shit. Yeah, see? This is why they don't want to take it out. You have to fight this shit to get it out. And sometimes, the last little foot of it, the last six inches, you can't get out. You have to cut it. There's no other way. So we're going to see, because so, sometimes they'll fold it around the corner. you got to get your pry bar in there, but yeah, it sucks. Did he get it? Make sure you spill that on Javi. Look at that, we got it out. Oh yeah, look at that, he was bent in the corner. Look at that, he was all the way bent in the corner. So that corner was bent around the corner here going this way. Not too bad. It took them like what? Freaking five minutes. Why don't these guys do it? Just because it's, it's five minutes. Just do it right. Stop screwing around with this shit. Look at all that leak right down there. That is nasty. Wow, this guy's got a serious leak. I'm going to go down there and help out this one. Then. We'll get this trip. Yeah, look what you leave under the roof when you do a, a recover. So you have the guy just put the paper over paper. They'll use some self-adhered paper, some sticky paper, or some synthetic paper, titanium EDL, GF, whatever. And this is what they're going over. Look at that. They don't, they don't tell you that. Look at that. Thank you. That's what they're going over. That's what you're getting left with. Cost you half the money, or you get stuck with that.